Uh, I'm Trent Sanderson, I'm 25. I farm with my family in DeKalb County, which is in north central Illinois. Uh, we've been strip tilling since 2007 and we've loved it ever since we started doing it. Uh, we farm corn, soybeans, and wheat all where we're at. And we also raise uh, 50 head of cow calves, so we're rotating in some hay crap with that as well. Um, we've been keeping track of our data ever since we've been doing this. Uh, some years have been better than others, uh, but from a data standpoint, um, I tend to calibrate all our machines before we do any tasks, whether that's planting, harvesting, spraying, or strip tilling. Uh, but then thereafter, the season's completed with, I probably go a little bit over the top, but I will actually post calibrate a lot of information such as our yield information. Uh, I've found that when we compare our scale tickets for what we're actually getting paid for in the grain versus what our yield monitors record, what we have or have not harvested, uh, we tend to have some differences there. Um, what I've noticed is when we calibrate our machines, they work best that day, but as the conditions change from day to day, whether the days get colder or we catch a rain in between crops, uh, that information gets recorded differently. So I go through that trouble of post calibrating all our information so I know bushel for bushel what each of our fields actually produced. Um, and also from a data standpoint, um, we recently have been keeping track of each and every dollar and cent on every single product we use in our field um, on a field by field basis so that we truly understand what products worked, what didn't, um, and which ones actually had better returns over their competitors. Uh, we use enough different products of the same, I guess the same goals, the same end goals, um, and trying to understand which have better returns. So what, what's, what's most economical for us? So the whole concept with strip till was to slow down or even get to where we can reverse uh, the removal of our organic matter in our soils. Um, and I think by all means we've slowed it down. Uh, we don't have any tools at the moment that have gone through measuring our organic matter content since we've been doing that. Um, but I would like to start to track something like that uh, and you know understand our yield correlation with our organic matter, you know, because that's obviously important for what we're doing and why we're doing it. 